All right, let's check in with Evan and Ronnie in the back lot. We're joined by a special guest. You guys are grilling up something hot out there. Right? Oh, yes, we are. You might even be able to smell it in the studio, Eric. It's hatch chili season here, and we have executive chef at Gelson's, Tony Dang, joining us this morning yes, to talk wow. about how we can kind of up our recipe game, our dinner prepping game uh, involving some hatch chilies. Good morning, Tony. Hey, Thanks good for morning, joining us. Okay. Uh, I want to start off with just like, I mean, I asked you, first thing uh, that I just asked you was, is it, Hatch chili season right now? Yes, so it's hatch chili season now. Uh, hatch chili season usually runs from August through early September, but it can go, you know, a couple weeks longer or earlier. And these are kind of the year. raw hatch chilies, yes, right? So these are fresh hatch chilies. These are the mild version uh, that we have on display here and that we're um, roasting for you today. Are these the, like, when you say mild, like how, people at home are probably like, can, can the kids be eating this? Is it super spicy? Yeah, so usually your uh, grocer, so Gelson's will uh, label them mild or hot. Okay. Um, so depending on your, your taste, you can choose the mild ones for the kids. Or if you like a little heat, and I, I like a little spicy. Yeah, so go for kick the, it up a bit. Um, the hotter ones. And you can tell usually by the size. So like these chilies are larger. That's how you can usually tell that they're more mild. You know, there's okay. a lot more um, liquid in there. The shorter ones are, are spicier. And I like that you gave us options here that don't necessarily show that the chilies are in it. Like you wouldn't necessarily think that you've got hatch chilies in all of these options, no, right? Definitely. So definitely. what is this here? So this is our uh, roasted corn and heirloom tomato hatch chili salad here with quinoa. Um, made fresh in our stores every day during hatch season. Uh, we've got a uh, hatch chili turkey meatball here with a Suiza sauce, uh, hatch chili mac and cheese, as well as a delicious uh, hatch chili egg salad. So you were saying you. some of these, like, it, is it a situation where people can come in? Because that's one of the, the things behind Gelson's is like, these are things that you can't get at the normal grocery store. Definitely, so people definitely. can come in and get these salads already pre-made? Yes, so um, all of these are gourmet, high quality salads. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Gelson's prides itself on high quality items. Uh, so we, we always focus on fresh, you know, what's in season, and, you know, it's hatch season. And you can probably hear something sizzling, too. Yes. What, what are we cooking up here on the grill? So today I've got uh, hatch chili burgers uh, with our uh, meat department's recipe, actually. So we've got um, 85, 15 ground beef with uh, actually cheddar cheese and hatch chilies uh, mixed in it uh, with a little cumin and some salt. Uh, really simple but delicious recipe. Um, and, and you get the, the bun yes, toasted up first. I like to toast the bun. I've got, I like it's to like do, keep it pretty mayonnaise. simple here with a little truffle mayonnaise. Wow. Uh, I like to do Gouda, but you can use any cheese you want, really. Um, Look at that. You know that looks that. delicious. Super First thing I told simple. Tony was I was like, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be trying it. this bad boy out. Yeah, um, while I take a bite, tell us a little bit more about, you know, when you're at home making this, is the best idea then to just kind of like finely chop the hatch chili and, and add it into a lot of your so meals? So if you want to use them fresh, you can too. Um, they've got mild uh, hatch chilies, has a really nice flavor, but you get more out of it when you roast it like we're doing here. So you can either do it on an open flame, like on your stove, or on the grill. Uh, either way, once you roast them, you know, get them in a pan, cover them like this, then you can peel them and then dice them and add it to any recipe. Does roasting them make them more mild or does it just like kind of soften them? It brings out actually the, uh, the earthiness of, okay. the, of the chili itself and you'll smell it when you're roasting at home, they'll just kind of permeate. The yeah, oh, this is better. so good. I feel like my mom growing up loved making meatloaf. And I feel like now I want to tell my mom retroactively to add meat, like some hatch chili to the yeah, meatloaf absolutely. or something to like spice it up a little bit, right? Yeah, you can kind of add it to anything. Yes, absolutely. Um, so you can make um, chili with it if you're a chili right. person. Um, or, you know, like we've got here, it's a fresh, um, you know, salad or your favorite egg salad there. Uh, before we go, you guys yeah. have three locations in San Diego County, yes. right? You got, what, Del Mar, Carlsbad, and Pacific yeah. Beach. Pacific Beach, yes. And this Saturday, we're oh, yeah. doing a live roasting at our Del Mar location. Ooh, awesome. From 7 a.m. to uh, to 1 p.m. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Chef Tony Dang, thank you for joining us this morning. Right. We appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to keep digging into these, but in the meantime, you guys have a website, yeah. too, that people can go to for more Absolutely. information. So uh, you can visit us at uh, gelsons.com. Uh, for uh, all of our information that we have in the grocery Delicious. Store. It's summer. It's hatch chili season. We'll be back after this quick break. Stay with us.